Um, I'm just curious, that's not the solution. What is the solution and when can we get this current system kicked out? <coughs> the, then he's brought up the big question is repealing Obamacare isn't enough because the system was broken before the Obamacare came in. I mean, as a small business owner for 20 years, we saw that. It wasn't the increase that we're seeing now, sure. but it was a continual increase to the point where I, I was get, it was hard for me to afford the health care for our employees. And uh, so we know that if you're going forward, we and, and again in the conservative movement, we can't just continue to be the party of no. You don't win by just saying no to everything. You have to say yes to some things, but you need to dictate what you're saying yes to. So we actually have to have a plan in place that we migrate to. That is being worked upon. One of the reasons that um, you haven't heard of what the Republican plan is is because there's six or seven predominant ones out there, and we're trying to get to one that everybody can agree upon, but more importantly works. There's some things that we've been advocating to do as part of that because, again, we're, we're in such a mindset in our society now that you don't mind going over to uh, the transmission shop down here and paying cash to have your car fixed, but who in the world would ever want to pay cash for going to see the doctor? Even though it would cost you 60% less than using insurance. Because we've been conditioned as a society, well, you just don't do that. Well, why not? Why can't you just go use your credit card to pay to go to the doctor? Why are you, if you want to, if you have the resources, why can't you get a, a uh, <coughs> catastrophic coverage plan that would cover any major medical, you know, maybe kicks in uh, for the, the, the costly bills or hospital stays? But why can't you just go and pay cash? Why can't you use a, a health savings plan that an employer can contribute to as well that follows you from employer to employer? And that you can actually use cash to go pay out of that health savings plan. Use cash to go pay for your services. You know, most every doctor here in Cartersville, they have a cash um, menu <laughs> option. In fact, I visited a uh, ear, nose, and throat uh, outpatient surgery center in Woodstock uh, back a year or two ago. Went in. And he actually showed me his different pricing plans for a tonsillectomy. If you went in, you had an Obamacare insurance plan. It was about 5800 bucks. I said about because it depends on your insurance plan, what's covered and what isn't, and what medications they can give you, and how many follow-ups. So it's somewhere around a $5,800 level. But if you want to come in and pay cash, $3,600. Walk out the door. Totally covered everything, including your follow-up visits, short of complications. And they also give you a discount card for the, the drugs you need. They give you a discount on that. <coughs> so you think about these high deductible plans now under Obamacare that are eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. If you have one of those, you're walking in and you're going to pay $5,800 cash out of your pocket. Why? Because you haven't met your deductible. Or if you didn't have the insurance, you could pay $3,600 and walk out the door. With better coverage because you know what's covered. There are doctors here that are growing this concierge service, which like when I was in the IT business, you know, for so much per computer per month, we would cover anything that happens to <coughs> your office. These guys are doing, you know, $75 a month or whatever per person in your family, you can come as many times as you want. Don't come at all, come as many times as you want. Cash. This system works, and it should be an alternative. It should be something that you can use. But the problem with Obamacare that it prohibits, in, in most cases, doctors taking cash if you actually have insurance. They can go to jail if they take cash from you. When <coughs> actually, that, that's wrong. You should have the choice to choose how you pay. Hey, if I got insurance, I just don't want to pay for it, and I can go cheaper by paying cash. I should be able to yeah. pay cash. These are the things that we have to think outside the box. This is that vision 2030. Why can't you have the option to pay cash if you want to? You're an American. You earned that money. You ought to be able, and the doctor ought to have the right to take it if he wants to. These are the things that we do get too locked into what our society is right now. And in reality, what we want to do is change the society, right? So why do we keep conforming to a society that's broken, and broken instead of going out and bringing in new ideas, changing the culture? James Garfield basically said, and this is a problem we run into here today, is we look, we're looking for Washington to fix all the problems in this nation. We're looking for Washington to fix all the problems in our nation. I mean, the evidence is in the Planned Parenthood thing. 
right? We could defund Planned Parenthood tomorrow. I think we should. We're working on it. We have another bill that we're working on. We have a committee investigating Planned Parenthood because my, my goal is not to defund them. But if they're breaking the law, they need to go to jail. Put them out of business. But in reality, we could, we could ban abortion tomorrow in this nation. You know what would happen the next day? A whole lot of abortions, perform, illegal abortions, performed in, in America because we hadn't done, we've not done anything to change the culture, change the hearts and the minds of the people who are having the abortions. If you really want to affect change in this nation, it has got to happen here. Bottom up, James Garfield said, if Congress is reckless, ignorant, and corrupt, it's because the people accept recklessness, ignorance, and corruption. As long as we're comfortable in the society we live in and we're not willing to do anything to change it, nothing is going to change because Washington is only going to reflect the will and the interest of the people that are that they represent. So it's putting it's going to, it puts a lot of onus on us as well. And I'm talking to me as well. It's just not me acting Congress. I've got to do things here. So I'm, my family and I we contribute to the Family Resource Center here, the intervention program that tries to intervene with young ladies who get pregnant and are considering abortions. My daughter-in-law volunteers over there quite often. These are the things that really make a difference. This is what makes America strong. Bringing ideas to Congress, like with your business, what, what would make it better for you? Those are the types of things we're looking at. That's why we've, we're putting together advisory committees to where we have people in our staff you can call. If, you, if there's an issue you're having, says, look, I think I've got a solution to this, that you can pick up the phone and call. This is what we're talking about, getting outside the box and thinking in a new realm. Because if we're not happy with the society we have today, why do we want to fix something that is just perpetually broken instead of adding new ideas? So in, in, a very long answer uh, to your question is we don't have the answer because we're still trying to build it. But our goal is to have that put together this year. So in January 2017, we're moving forward on it. I can go online and fill out our business survey. Yeah. That's a good idea. We got on our, our website, we have a business survey that uh, you can input uh, right. the things that are that are important to you and ideas and stuff. Anybody, anybody in any business, just go online and there's a survey there. Please fill it out. Do you have time for one more? Yeah. Yeah, go. Go. I want to yeah. thank you so much for all of the information. And many of us that are active in the party, we have a an understanding, but how does the GOP get this message out across because they're having to compete mm -hmm. with the, the media which is run by the yeah. liberals? We're, we're doing better now than we were and I think you're going to see a difference because Paul Ryan, where the previous speaker avoided the media, Paul Ryan has been out there aggressively seeking it. Uh, he's been on most of the Sunday talk shows and he's trying to get that message out there. Um, that's what we're working on, to be more effectively communicating. And the, one of the things I say is to get on the congressional websites, because we're constrained somewhat by what we say on our congressional websites. So um, on your campaign site, you can say whatever you want to. But so we try to put out information on both. Um, but that's one of the challenges is when the media is really they want to see the collapse of this party. How do you get that proper message out there? And the other thing is we just got to quit reacting so quickly emotionally. But I think that will change when we actually put a vision of where we're going and uh, start doing some of these positive things. Thank you. Thank you.